top 10 characters for the month of February 2021. I got to give a big shout out to everybody that came out last month and liked the video. Always one of my most liked videos, but let's get right to the list. And we're going to start off the list by talking about Thanos. And of course, uh, Thanos is accompanied with the Black Order to make one of the best teams easily in the game. Probably the best team in the game. Dominant in the arena. Dominant in Alliance War. And... Uh, yes, of course, Doom is coming, and some people have already unlocked Doom, and what that is going to look like in the arenas remains to be seen, but I believe Doom will take over at some point, but that doesn't mean that uh, Thanos and the Black Order are still going to be very important as a team, even in Alliance War. I even get use out of them in raids uh, pretty much in all parts of the game. So uh, even though I've only got Thanos on this list, I want to say that Ebony Maw could have made this list also. I actually was debating putting Ebony Maw and then talking about Thanos or Thanos and Ebony Maw. Both of them are the two key characters. They, uh, Ebony Maw gets used in Dark Dimension. I actually got a lot of use out of Thanos in Dark Dimension also just as a big tanky character. But more importantly than that, he was uh, just needed to be very large for the arena. Uh, no problem for me of putting T4s into him, gold and silver promotion credits, and taking him up to max tier level. He is quite amazing, and I gotta, I gotta show you this. Look at his health, 568,000. I think there's a lot of good ISO 8 choices on him. I'm using Raider. A lot of people have switched over to Striker, and then in certain situations, Healer also is appropriate. Let's go to the next part of the list. We're gonna talk about symbiotes, and we're gonna just specifically mention that Symbiote Spider-Man is the best character on the Symbiote team, but really it's a complete team. Uh, I, I kind of like them out of personal preference. I like Symbiote Spider-Man the best, best. And then secondly, I like both Carnage and Anti-Venom. And then lastly, I like Scream and Venom. But really, all of them are good and they all work well together. King of Raids, amazing and vital and necessary for Dark Dimension. I'm getting a lot of use out of them. Also in Alliance War, pretty much good in every single game mode. And this uh, team right here, also I don't have any reservations in recommending putting tons of T4s and uh, gold and silver promotion credits and taking them up to max gear tier level. Next is Emma Frost. Now, she really is a, a quite amazing character on a standalone basis just by herself. Uh, the main thing I like about Emma is I believe that her kit is somewhat future-proof, meaning that as the game develops, she will continue to be important because her uh, she's a kit-based character. And yes, she does perform better uh, with higher gold and red stars, but most of her kit doesn't really need, uh, you know, damage, let's say. Uh, Diamond form right here uh, clears all the negative effects off your team. That's great. Her, her her deletion, turn the tables right here, is a mind control ability, which uh, is gonna use the enemy or ally characters with the most damage. So as characters uh, move up in, in damage and characters come out and power creep, she's still gonna be important. Uh, she currently is my favorite character in the game. For the longest time, my favorite character in the game was Black Bolt, but Emma right now, without a doubt, is my favorite character in the game. She is amazing in RTA or any kind of PVP mode. Apply minus 10% speed to all enemies. Do you know how good that is? Boy, I, I, I could probably talk for an entire video about why Emma's good. She's got about like seven or eight things amazing about her kit. And I could just go on about the, the health and how she heals in Alliance Wars and you could make her super tanky and, and putting a health ISO on her and she just heals and another team can't kill her. Or you could put Striker on her and you could double tap with this right here and flip positive effects and get rid of positive effects. She's very, very, very good. And I believe she's going to be very, very, very good for a long time. Next on the list is Black Bolt. And uh, Black Bolt has to be on the list just because he's my favorite character for a long time. And yeah, he's a hard counter to Ultron. And he has that little ping. The ping's amazing. I do want to say this. I am not using him nearly as much, and he's on the lower end of the list now. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The main reason is that he's a bio, and there's a huge scarcity and high demand for a bio. And bio, there are a very there. There's a bunch of great bio characters, but mostly uh, the bio space is clogged by symbiotes. And symbiotes need the resources because they're vital for Dark Dimension, where Black Bolt doesn't really help that much in Dark Dimension. Also, too, I, I believe that 
Uh, the importance and the benefit to Black Bolt was that he was high damage and high health and high stats, and he's going to be power creeped. <laughs> is that a word? Power creeped out over time as new characters come out with higher stats. Where, you know, if we talk about Mr. Sinister or Emma, I don't believe that's going to happen to them because they're kit based characters. They're going to remain important even if the power levels of the characters continue to rise. So I, I'm not as sprung on Black Bolt as I once was. Uh, you know, I don't know if I would even suggest putting uh, a ton of gold and silver promotion character uh, credits into him, but he's still a very, very, very important. And the, for, I can't not mention him because he was my favorite character just because of his passive and pinging the characters when they dropped below 25% health. Mr. Sinister, I kind of alluded to this already. He's a future-proof character. My goodness, he can clone. He's amazing in Dark Dimension 4. Doom is going to come out. Guess what? He can clone Doom. And he's always going to be able to clone the next best thing. And he's somewhat of a future-proof character. I believe that there's three very important teams in the game right now. And that would be, of course, Thanos and the Black Order, Symbiotes. And then we've got what we call Emma Marauders, which is going to be Emma Frost, Mr. Sinister, Strife, Mystique, and Sabretooth. And I believe that Sabretooth... Uh, is the weak member on the team, and he could be replaced with a lot of other characters, and we're seeing creative combinations all the time in War right now where uh, even Doom is going in place of Sabretooth, but you get the idea. It's an important team. Mr. Sister is an important character. He is uh, red and gold star dependent because the stats of his clone are dependent on the star level and the power level of Mr. Sinister, so keep that in mind. Easily one of the top 10 characters in the game. Plus, I believe he's going to be good for a long time. Hella. Hella. Um, the Asgardian team has a hard counter to it right now in Alliance War, and that's Symbiote. So she doesn't really, her team is not that great anymore. But Hella made the list because of her importance in unlocking other legendary characters. Asgardians unlock Black Bolt. Black Bolt unlocks Ebony Ma. And Villain Mystic Controllers, which Hella and Loki are, unlock Phoenix. So she's the pathway to three very, very important characters in this game. And she's an important character herself. I believe that uh, just the Loki Hela combo is going to have use for a long time, even if the rest of her team does not get used. And I mean by Heimdall and Sif, Thor can go to Wave 1 Avengers and still be very useful. So Hela's important, and I'm, I am taking her to gear tier 15. Uh, I have some reservations about that because she is uh, 90 15s, <laughs> 90 gear 15, uh, fair mini 15 pieces is probably one of the more expensive characters that I'm taking into Dark Dimension 4. Uh, I think there's going to be other solutions. She's a very expensive way of doing it. I'm hoping that'll pay off later, maybe in Dark Dimension 5 or something like that. But I, 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 I think mid game players should be focusing on getting Hela because she, she leads to all the other goodies in this game, namely Black Bolt, Ebony Ma, and Phoenix. She's a big deal. We can't not talk about Hela. Next, we have to talk about Phoenix. Uh, she is the only six-star, currently six-star legendary unlock requiring five six-star villain mystic controllers. And she is the queen of DD3, Dark Dimension 3, still very useful in Dark Dimension 4. And that's mostly because of her uh, Dark Phoenix summon mode, which is absolutely crazy. Beyond bonkers right here this character right here dark phoenix just blows up everybody it's very scary when she <laughs> he does her thing my goodness uh and also uh, you know but that means that she's also uh kind of a one trick pony as far as raids you can only use her once because uh once she dies uh, you know then you have to use cores to refresh her i'll take it uh she was one of the more impactful characters when she came out now of course ebony ma is kind of somewhat of a counter to her which kind of bounced things out. And uh, uh, Black Order and Thanos have taken over the arena where Phoenix dominated that before. Of course, I'll be taking her to 15 for Dark Dimension 4. Next on the list is Baron Zemo. Oh, this guy's super annoying. Um, he makes the list because he's probably the most hated character in RTA. If, so, if a character is that much hated... He has to make the list. I mean, he's hated because he's good. Uh, he's really fast. And when he's paired up with Red Skull, it just gets even sillier. But he goes first. He clears all the positive effects. He blows up all of your uh, uh, your characters that you need to get abilities off. The, you know, that's why he's so annoying. 
Uh, I, 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 I really kind of feel bad about this guy because he's so good, but I think he's going to be one of the more hated characters. As a standalone character, he's one of the best characters in the game, and I had to mention him. Now, he's he's not really good in raids. He's kind of squishy. He's not really useful in necessarily in Dark Dimension, at, you know, because he doesn't have any regeneration or sustain, uh, but he's very effective on his own. Uh, paired up with Emma is amazing, and also he's highly, highly useful in Alliance Wars, and it's just as a individual character versus just a team like an entire team he's very important let's keep going on the list we got to talk about ultron and of, of course ultron makes the list because uh he's a one-man army and uh he does have a counter of course that is uh black bolt but once ultron gets going and he has his army of uh, bots going he's quite unstoppable and uh it would be a mistake to not mention him on this list but he's been out for a while and so, of course, there's ways of getting around him. And then newcomer to the list is Longshot. And uh, I have to say that Longshot and, uh, uh, is quite, quite good. And the two of the X-Factors that we currently have in the game kind of has a symbiote 2.0 feel. And I'm very optimistic for what the next X-Factor character adds to this team. But just as the two of them together is something else and uh people that have them at high red and gold stars and high gear tier are telling me that they can use use the two of them in every single game mode and i just i had to put this into the video that i really think this is going to be a future team uh that's going to be forced to be reckoned with and 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 i remember saying this with symbiotes when we only had three symbiotes in the game for the longest time we had Symbiote Spider-Man, Carnage, and Venom. It's like, what is it going to be like when we get a fourth and a fifth symbiote? I'm telling you right now, that's what I'm saying. What is, it gonna, what is X Factor going to look like when we get a third and a fourth and a fifth one? Oh my goodness. And then lastly in the list, Doom. We're, 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 that's the big chase right now, Dark Dimension 4. And uh, there's no debate that he is the best character in the game. Uh, without a doubt he is. And yes, there are ways of beating him, but on offense... He's the best, and he's useful in every single game mode. I don't think there's anything to dis dispute about that. All right, well, guess what time it is. Now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you like this video today because if you if you do, you are in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free an eight-star mobile gamer. This is not a scam. I don't know why I thought this meme was kind of funny. It says, I'm a gamer, and then the guy, you know, this is where they were doing the Hell Hydra thing and all that, right? That console piece is just mobile, and then they come after them. It is this whole idea that mobile gamers are not gamers. I remember Dr. Disrespect putting a tweet out, mobile gamers are not gamers. And then <laughs> I challenged him on that. That was kind of fun uh, in encounter. But anyways, you get the idea. All right, let me know what you think of uh, in the comments section. What does your top 10 list look like? Any characters that I admit that you think that could have made the list? And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Bye for now.